I fell in love with the game early on. It was competitive, I loved it. Being on the field was just sort of where, you know, I felt free and I enjoyed myself. And, um, you know, the competitive side of me came out and it's just something I love to do and came through the ranks and with Kids Sport having my back, um, here I am today, Desiree Scott, a uh, two-time Olympian. My mom was a single mom growing up. She was taking care of me, driving me to every training session, and sometimes, you know, the finances weren't always there to keep me on the field. And luckily, Kids Sport was there to support me, to support my dreams. And, and you know, I was just an eight-year-old kid wanting to, to play and kick a soccer ball around. And with the support of Kids Sport, with the funding that's come in, supported me directly, and kids who are here today, um, I've gone on to become a two-time Olympian. So you never know where the support and the money goes. I think it's, it's just incredible to see where my journey has taken me, and I can give huge credit to Kids Sport for that. It's about loving what you're doing. If you're not having fun, you know, the journey is not, not as special. So first and foremost, have fun with it. Find something you love. And second of all, the hard work always pays off. Uh, you know, right. it's, it's the opportunity to be exposed to all the things, all the positive things that sport can bring in your life, um, from discipline to work ethic to understanding teamwork and, and leadership and, and obviously the, the physical activity health component as well. So many benefits from being uh, afforded the opportunity to participate in, in team sports and just having the access is uh, what really drew me to kids sport and makes this event so important. It's funny, this is uh, the eighth year of this camp and uh, every year I, I call up a whole bunch of uh, guys I, I play football with, with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers and we can't pay them anything and it's a, a big commitment, three, four hours of their time on Sunday and uh, nobody says no. They all show up, uh, they come out in droves, they understand how important this is for the kids but they also have a lot of fun uh, taking the kids through it so uh, my, my cap is always off to these uh, volunteers that come out here, especially uh, our corporate sponsors and stuff as well that have uh, really helped us out and, and made this uh, more significant over the years. It's awesome, I see these, I see I'm with the older kids and they, just, they got this fire in their eyes, like they can do it, right? And they're all motivated to do it well, all cheering on each other. And they can do it, right? Like there's no difference between myself and Doug Brown and Sean Glant. We're all kids who grew up in Canada, you know, playing sports and then we all got to make it pro. So every one of these kids can do it. And I think that when they see us out here, they really feel like they can and that's awesome. Right. So many different skills from playing sports. I mean, discipline, dedication, it's all that stuff you learn from uh, a young age, showing up to practice. It doesn't matter if it's 6 a.m., 7 a.m., you're always happy to get there, happy to skate. It just uh, teaches you that mental toughness, getting through hard times, and just enjoying life like that. What inspired you to do this camp? To give, you know, obviously, you know, me and all of you guys, um, you know, your parents are able to, you know, help pay for sports, for equipment, and all this stuff, but um, there's lots of kids in the world, you know, and especially in, in Winnipeg, that don't have the money to, to play sports, to have gear, whatever it is, and um, you know, the money that your parents pay to, to, to put you guys in this camp goes towards you know, those underprivileged kids to be able to play sport. I think um, you know, it's pretty awesome of, of you and your, your families to, to do that.